it's time to change the sign again. Congratulations class of 2018 at St. Stephen High School and around Charlotte County from me, Old Car Auto Guy, and Old Car Auto Sales. It seems every vehicle I get into these days has no gas. It'll be a miracle if my fuel bill isn't $10,000 this year. $20 here and there in every vehicle you drive, she seems to add up in a hurry. Well guys, we got a little bit of something special here for you today. A slight modification to the old Mopar. that we've got today is a sticker or a decal modification. So on the air breather it's supposed to be something that looks like that and something that looks like that. So we are going to take the air breather off, take it inside, get it cleaned up, and we'll get these stickers on. So the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to wash this thing and I've got to make sure that my wife is out of the house because if she catches me cleaning something, she might just expect it all the time. You said you weren't going to say anything. So all we're going to do is just a little bit of soapy water. off with some paper towel. So before I start this, I actually want to make sure that these are going to fit properly and centered as well as be enough room for both of them. think is going to be close because they're going to be touching each other so I'm questioning whether I should be doing both or just one. Give me a moment to confer with Google. Confer? Confer? Is that not a word? I don't think so. Google it. I think it is. Okay Google. Tell me what confer means. Confer with Google. Let me see what Google is going to tell no. me. Yes. You used it wrong. Nope. Yes, you did. You're wrong. You think you're right, you I will. <laughs> From what I can see, this is the under the hood of a Chrysler Cordoba, and they're only using one sticker. So I guess we're only going to use one sticker today. There you go. There you go. There you go. Who's right, honey? Who's right? Excuse me? Excuse me? No, I didn't. Yeah. 
You just asked for the definition and it told you. You read it yourself. Okay, and there you have it, guys. We got one side on, and apparently that's all we're going to need. So we'll go install it back on the car very simply. And that was an easy modification. So my wife seems to think that I have used the word confer wrong. And I need to prove her wrong by conferring with Google. Two years later, the same prize was conferred on him with comp without competition, which was mean, which meant given to him, bestowed upon him. Yeah. I was asking Google, essentially, in a weird word, to give me or bestow upon me the information I was requesting. No. Yes. No. Yes, it was. Love you. Straight to me. So now all we got to do is detail underneath the hood so that it looks nice and purdy like the rest of the air breather. All this dust that pops up from uh, driving the car down a dusty road at the campground and uh, always seems to, this, this clutch fan always seems to draw up dust from underneath the car and blow it all over and when it spins it blows it that way so that wheel is the only wheel on the whole car that gets covered in dust and then I got to go and wash it again so I like to save myself some time and I'm thinking about putting a electric fan there's all kinds of room down there for a puller fan but if I'm so inclined I could install one out front here and uh, have it pull in from the Front as well. That might be the next little project to do with this car is to get an electric fan hooked up so I can shut the fans off and on uh, depending on where I'm driving. It might sound like a first world problem but when you've got an old car and you take the time to clean it up a lot of effort goes into it so uh, you want to try and keep it clean as long as you can. There's another project done and uh, I think now we might just take it for a little cruise. No shenanigans though tonight. that is the end of another video we are coming up upon graduation week and one of the things about graduation week that I like is prom night because of all the nice cars that happen to come out so I'm gonna be heading down to the Civic Center with my camera and hopefully getting some nice shots of uh, the fancy cars that are gonna be dropping these kids off when I graduated my dad dropped me off at the prom in a 37 Chev a blue one uh, that a friend of his has now and my sisters went my nephews went and now that my niece is graduating she wants to be uh, she wants to show up in a really nice car as well so she's going to be taking dad's 36 Dodge so when Junior graduates I did tell him that he could take my car, the Mopar I'm still on the fence about that but anyways I did make a promise but he's got to graduate first. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for some graduation car update. Please subscribe, hit that bell notification, and we will see you in the next upload.